Everybody yeah, yeah. Rock your body yeah, yeah. Everybody, <laughs> that is literally <laughs> how it feels. What is up crazy fam? Hope you guys are having an amazing, beautiful day as always. And ladies and gents, every day we are perfecting the top three devastator build and just making it deadlier and deadlier. At this point, I need the death shield to drop, okay? I know it already dropped once, but it was very low firepower and we also needed the mod. However, before we get that to drop, I've made some changes to the build that will give you the ability to control the adds easier and you will also be doing 20% more weapon damage to all of the adds affected. So let's take a look at this setup and I will also show you some different ways you can utilize the top tree just by swapping around some abilities such as endless mass and tremor. You can also use tremor instead of gravity leap and keep endless mass and we're going to talk about that why that is good and so on i've been doing a lot of testing but as mentioned this is not yet complete still waiting for the few drops so stay tuned that video is going to be up as soon as i get all the drops and if you guys do enjoy this one and only if you do a like and a sub truly does help me out a lot and is very appreciated guys there's more beautiful content on the way so stay tuned both for Destiny 2 and Outriders, okay? So, for the helmet, it's gonna be Sharp Eye and Perseverance. You need both of these to make this build very, very strong. And then on the chest piece, we're running Bloodlust. Also, another mod that increases your DPS by a lot. But as you guys noticed, as usual, we're also running Power of the Stones. At first, I thought, you know what? I'm kind of stuck with this mod. This doesn't really do much for me when I'm solo playing. It's really good, obviously, for buffing your teammates. But, guys, after testing it and just paying more attention to it, I'm pretty sure this also buffs you with the 40% weapon damage increase. And I'm not talking about the set effect. I'm talking about the 40% weapon damage. And as mentioned, from my own experience, this works perfectly fine every time I use Tremor, which does make this way stronger than I thought it was, okay? So make sure to have this perk on if you do have the chest piece. Now on the boots, we're running Tainted Blood and Plate Piercer. Now the reason we're running Tainted Blood, obviously guys, is because of the boots. We have Bleeding Impulse, which means that every time we get closer to an enemy, they are going to be affected by bleed. And then we're going to be doing 25% more increased damage, which is really, really cool. And then on the gloves, we have Shattered Armor. Endless Mass increases weapon damage against affected enemies by 20% for 10 seconds. This is really strong, okay? And we also have the Captain Hunter. And the reason why this perk on the Endless Mass is really strong is not only do you get crazy ad control, but you are also just bunching them up together, right? Which gives you a 20% increase in damage for 10 seconds. And then when you get close to them, you're also going to be inflicting bleed and doing another extra 25%. So it's a huge increase to damage. You will see some awesome numbers in the gameplay. Guys, one thing I forgot to mention is another way to do even more damage while you pull them in with the endless mass and you inflict bleed on them just because you're close to them. You can also use the moaning winds perk that is on the shotgun or even on the sidearm if you equip it and deal massive amounts of damage so do keep that in mind and on top of all of this guys what you could do is take out gravity leap completely and use tremor instead if you want to have the tremor damage buff right and then also have the buff from endless mass now the reason this works is obviously the alter charge works also with endless mass it doesn't just work with gravity leap and boulder dash right so you get to keep this 70 percent increased damage thanks to endless mass which on top also gives you another 20 percent increase which brings us to 90 percent increased damage and then of course you have the bleeding impulse and the increase from the bleed and so on so you can definitely use tremor instead of gravity leap and then have both of these abilities i mean endless mass and tremor at the same time it works perfectly fine for me in this gameplay I am going to be running Gravity Leap and Endless Mass. I just like Leap a lot just to get out of some crazy situations and those quick damage increases when Endless Mass is on cooldown. But as mentioned, you can most definitely swap it out with Tremor. You will have a bit more survivability too. 
and you get that 40% increased weapon damage for you and for your team if you are playing duos or trios. But if you're playing solos, it's all up to you. Leap or Tremor, they're both going to work perfectly fine. Now let's quickly take another look at the class. These are going to be the skills that I'm going to be running. You could use Heirloom Armor here instead of, let's say, the cooldown skill right here. Or you can just swap out something if you're looking for more survivability. But in this gameplay, these are going to be the skills that I'm going to be using. Guys, now let's quickly take a look at the build of the Technomancer that I'll be playing with. Overall, he is a very strong techno, does tons of damage. And this right here is the setup that he's using. So go ahead and pause it if you want and take a closer look. As you guys will see, we do quite a lot of damage. If I'm being honest, I would say anywhere six to seven maps out of 10, Technomancers have the edge when it comes to damage, but there are definitely some maps where the Devastators shine, where you can just play way more aggressive, use Gravity Leap to get to enemies faster, do tons of damage, and get ahead on those damage numbers. And guys, the fact that we can even compete with Technomancers at this point is really, really cool, especially with the top tree Devastator build. It shows you that it is absolutely viable. One thing that is definitely worth mentioning, guys, is that when you are playing in co-op, some skills just don't work properly, right? For example, the Technomancers can just lose their blighted rounds. And on the Devastator, when I'm using my damage buff skills, it feels like they're really not doing as much as they should. So I really hope they fix this soon. Okay, now let's roll the gameplay. You guys are gonna see the final phases of three different expeditions. So you guys get a better idea on the damage numbers and everything. So I hope you guys enjoy this one as mentioned. And don't forget to hop into those streams every Tuesday, Thursday, Thursday and Saturday here on YouTube, 5 p.m. GMT. Thank you once again for all the amazing support. I appreciate every single one of you. And as always, have a crazy, beautiful day. Look at these guys. Like literally all the way below. <laughs> Just chilling. It's literally like the stasis grenade up. Yep. If you sit in it, you get frozen. Yep, there's nothing you can do. Now let's try this again. So just uh, where you were now. Yeah, I'll just back off to the main door. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. gotcha. I'm backing off right now. Because they drop from that. So if we just sit here, they're all just gonna come here and die. Okay, gotcha. I'm gonna push to the left side, uh, sorry, right side real quick. Okay, where's my uh, crit set? Sorry. No, 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 no. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Good. Yes. Good quick run. A bit run. close, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I swear, I, I, I'm, I'm serious this time. This shit has to drop. There we go. That's one. Okay, okay. Maybe a second one, please. No. Okay. Okay. That's all you get. <laughs> that's a, that's a, a bit <laughs> less uh, blues. Not too many blues. Regardless, it was a fun run. So yeah.
Woof. That guy got, dude, that guy got destroyed, Blur. We deleted him, legit. Yep. Oh, there's one more? Yeah, he, he was a bit late. <laughs> he was like, oh shit. What the hell? I was, like... <laughs> I was <laughs> waiting for the boss to spawn and everything, and yep, I was like, yep. I see some red on, on the minimap. I'm like, yeah, I'm gone a minute. Here's the good looking guy. I'm not gonna get any stacks, I'm just gonna go for him. Not full damage, but he's pretty much dead. that woof that was cool yeah that was uh, a good time yep yep did pretty good there all things considered and now it's time it's it's all day it's only been one or none from every tier 15 <laughs> and now it's time it's a special buff come on the sidearm buff come on it, it worked I, I guarantee you it worked no Oh my god, I can't take this anymore. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. No! Man, Pretty how, decent damage. How am I supposed to? You have 173. Good damage there. Damage dealt. Let me check. Automatic shotgun. Lighter rounds are on top, obviously. Everybody, yeah. Yeah. Rock your body, yeah. Yeah. Everybody, <laughs> that is literally <laughs> how it feels. <laughs> literally, like, come on, man, like, you can't make that shit up. No, that's amazing, though. I'm pulling them in. I'm gonna grab some ammo right here. Come on, I just got my ammo back and I literally lost oh, it. Oh, no, no, no. Need to heal up real quick. Oh, that's what's hurting me. Okay. I don't see it when I'm too close. I think that's the problem. Bye bye. They got full. The one in the back is also dead. I think all the captains are dead, right? I think so, yeah. Yep. Okay, well done. What is it now? I don't even remember this part. Oh, we got one more room to go through. We got time though. But yeah. Backstreet Boys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Backstreet now Boys I remember. Is the most I remember. Entertaining room. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like as, as soon as I see, I've seen that meme, I'm like, no way. That just makes so much sense. I'm gonna stun you, Mr. Boss. Get your thing off of you. Then I'm gonna do this. 
going to fly you up. I'm going to smash you. And I'm going to run out of ammo. There we go. Nice. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Backstreet boys are no match. I'm going to get the guillotine. Got Absolute it. zero and the other shotgun I'm missing. All three at Oof. the same time. I love to hear it. Let's go. You're going to get one. three three dead shields. Oh, my. One. Okay. Two. Two. And another one, please. And one more. One more. Just, just throw it out there. No? Okay. We'll no, take two, no. I guess, right? Yeah, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> Not gloves, man. Not gloves. You, you got you to gotta love cannonballs. <laughs> and another glove. There's so many legendaries in the game, and then you need duplicates from time to time. You need better stats on them, right? Let's say something drops at 70,000 firepower, but you're looking for 90 or 95 or whatever. You're trying to min-max your mm -hmm. stats. And the, the, the chance of you getting the same weapon out of all of them, not even to mention the new one. It's just, it, it, it's even worse when you're trying to get a duplicate, in my opinion. Like Inferno Seed, like... You would love to get that with like 99,000 firepower. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, of course. That's the point. Of course, yeah. <laughs> like if, if, there sh if there would be a way to farm a certain expedition where it would say, oh, you know what? Today in the daily rotation, you only get auto rifles in this one. You would be farming that because you, you know you got a higher chance. You're, you're pretty much neglecting yep. all the other weapon types and you would farm it. But whew, it's tough without that, man. It's tough.